It's incredible, and, and you know, I think Daniel Dubois deserves a lot of credit as well. You know, I don't think he was disrespected as a champion, but he was the clear B side in the fight, and he, he come out as a star tonight as well. You know, I think he's a he's a handful. Um, you know, he's a he's a good good young man. And he's come back from a lot as well. You know, people have written AJ off before in the past. We all wrote Daniel Dubois off, me included. You know, and actually he showed again tonight. So I took some good shots tonight. You know, and it was only really when the fourth and fifth round come that I was thinking, actually, we could start breaking him down here. But by then, like Ben said, you know, because of the start, it's so difficult without a clear head to actually apply the things that he's been working on. And even then, you know, my... My dad messaged me, he said, wow, he said, mate, so many basic errors. And still could have won the fight. You know, and that's that's a positive to take out of it. That I said to him, you've got to be proud you even found a way back into the fight. Because after the second round, for me, the fight's done. It's over. And, you know, people always question people's heart. You know, even the last knockout, he's up, he's up, he's trying, he's scrambling to get up. He just could, he couldn't have tried another inch. And that's all you can give to people. You know, and I think... When you do that, you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I might not have been good enough tonight, but I've, I've tried my nuts off and I gave everything. And I spoke to him last night and he said to me, I'm ready to go to the trenches tomorrow night. He went all the way in the trenches. You know, people try to talk about taking a knee, spitting a gum shoe there. I mean, listen, when Daniel Dubois hit me in the nuts in the third or fourth round, I'm screaming at AJ to take the full five minutes. Like, that's actually a little bit of inexperience. Like, at that point, when he couldn't stand up, he's been hit full blown in the conquest, right? All he's got to do to the ref is just, you know, that's not him. Mm. He just went to the ref, I'm fine, come on, let's go. And I'm like, no, 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 what are you doing? And then, he, then it happened again. Because he's just, he just came to fight tonight. And, you know, when you talk about entertainment, maybe vulnerability, but also a huge puncher that's prepared to let his hands go. It was a hell of a fight, hell of a fight, you know, and, and, and like I said, as guys as we are, Daniel deserves a lot of credit because tonight was his crowning night, not being elevated to interim champion, tonight was the night that I believe he became a real world champion, and you know, he's got a big future ahead of him as well. And he, obviously, um, AJ is going to be disappointed if he was excited to be back at Wembley in front of 96,000 people, but... We'll all agree, you showed so much heart tonight. How much admiration do you have for him for doing that? Always, because I think when you... It's, it's not just the admiration of being in the ring, it's the admiration of how he lives his life, how consistent he is working with Ben. And the achievements that he's had in his career, the money that he's made, and he still wants it more than ever. And, you know, I think, you know, unless there's something Ben's not telling me or AJ's not telling me, which I know there isn't, Cameron's good, you know, like... No excuses, well prepared, nice and confident, looked unbelievable in the changing room, I mean, punching so hard. He just had a disastrous start. And, and unfortunately, against a big, strong puncher, it's hard to recover. And, you know, he, he nearly did. But the admiration is not just about what he did tonight. He, he went to deeper depths tonight than I thought he would or could, in all honesty. Like, and that's total respect for him because. It's not just hanging on, it's standing there and letting your hands go when your legs are gone. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Someone comes in and they lose every round, they go 12 rounds and, and it's a little bit of a celebration. Oh yeah, I lost my... He, he was like, he was either going to get knocked out or he was going to flatten Daniel with what? And unfortunately, it was the first one. Uh, ben, it felt hey, like, it felt um, like um, Anthony arrived quite late to the stadium. Was, was that part of the plan? Um, and if it wasn't, do you think that might have factored into that, like the sloppy start we've spoken about? There was a bit of traffic and it did turn up slightly later than, than we would have planned. But being honest, you know, he was very well prepared. Um, you know, we knew Daniel was going to start fast. There was nothing that shocked us in that. We didn't expect him to do that. Um, just whatever reason got off to a bad start. You know, we're very early. Off coming up the back of the fight, we'll go back, we'll review what we could have done better, of course, and uh, go from there. Eddie, 